Hello, my name is Kathy Wynn, and I'm a Big Fix Technical Advisor for the Southeast, based out of Atlanta, Georgia. Please feel free to scan my QR code on the lower left-hand corner of this video if you'd like to connect with me via LinkedIn. Also, feel free to leave me any questions or comments there after this presentation. Today, I will be talking about manual caching for Big Fix, why it is needed, and demonstrate how to manual cache. So BigFix goes straight to the source or download URL to get the content for each of its fixlets. And manual caching is usually not required. However, there are some fixlets out there that have the verbiage manual does caching required in its action scripts. So what does this mean? In some instances, a particular vendor might not be providing a download directly to their link and you will be required to click through their EULA or end user license agreement and manually download the install to your BigFix server. Therefore, there are some fixlets that will require manual caching. Here are the steps that I will be demonstrating for you today on manual caching within BigFix. First, I will need to determine the fixlets that requires manual caching using a custom filter. Once I've determined that, I can download the file that I need from the source specified in the fixlets actions. After I download the file, I will need to confirm the size, the SHA-1 and the SHA-256 values to ensure that they match up to what's in the fixlet. Lastly, I will copy the file to the SHA-1 folder on the BigFix server. You can see the exact location on this slide at the bottom. Optionally, I will also rename the file to the same name as a SHA-1 value, and I'll explain why later. Now, I will jump into my demonstration. I now have my BigFix console up. I have a custom filter that I named fixits that require manual caching. When I edit this, you can see that only fixlets uh, with the following property, action contains manual best caching required is being filtered. On the right hand pane at the top, I have one fixlet showing relevant in my environment. I'll go ahead and click on that. At the bottom pane, I'll click on the Details tab, and I'll scroll down to Actions. Just to confirm, in my Actions, you will see Manual Best Caching Required verbiage in the action. Here is the source, the location to download the file. Here's the name of the file. Here's the size, SHA-1 and SHA-256 values. Prior to this video, I have already gathered all that information I just showed you and put it in this notepad. Go ahead and go to the source to download this file. The file I'm looking for is a 64-bit version. I will be saving this on my temp folder for now. Now that it's saved, downloaded and saved on my temp folder, I can go ahead and confirm the name, the SHA-1, SHA-256 values, and the size. As you can see, the name of the file matches up. So does the size, and so does the SHA-1 value. My last check is the SHA-256 value. And that also matches up. 
Now I can actually copy this file into the SHA-1 folder on my BEZ server where the install is. I'm also currently on my BEZ server. So I'll go ahead and browse to the location Big Fix was installed on, which is the default location. Program Files x86, Big Fix Enterprise, BEZ server, www root bez bf mirror downloads and there's my shawl one folder i've pasted the file here and i will go ahead and name it the shawl one value as I mentioned earlier, this is not required or necessary. However, renaming it will ensure that I will not have any duplicate file names in this folder in case. This is best practice. The file has been renamed, pulling, uh, removing the extension. Now, I can take action on this fixlet or add it to a baseline. This concludes my demonstration on manual caching, caching within BigFix. Again, please feel free to direct any questions or comments to me via LinkedIn. In addition, we have some very helpful and useful BigFix resources and contacts on this slide and its QR codes. We have our main bigfix.com page. You can also get support on our support.bigfix.com site, which also includes information on our latest events. You can ask BigFix related questions and engage on our forum, forum.bigfix.com. We're also on LinkedIn and Facebook. Thank you very much for watching this video today.